Today we're going to make um, a symbol program that can just play stuff backwards. Like you can choose a song and you can play it backwards. First we're going to open up Xcode and we're going to make a new Apple script application. Do Apple script and you can call it play it back. I already made one so I'll show you how to do it. Okay, first we're going to open up the mainmenu.nib file. And this is the user interface we're going to design around it. Okay. Open up the inspector. And we're going to make this window textured. And we're going to resize it to about this. And we can call it backwards or whatever you want. Okay, go to the library. And put a spinner. And we're going to make a regular size. We're also going to add a button, and you can just type choose song, then we're going to add a label, and I'm just going to type what we want, what we want to describe to them, so let's say Size this just so it looks nice. Okay, save that. Now click on the button. Um, on here, click on the Apple script tab of the inspector, and we need to assign the button to a script, and we'll do play it back our script. And for the action, check click. Okay, um, save and you can quit. Okay, next we're going to open up the script. And you can see here it says on click the object, add your script here. So that's basically saying that when they, when they click that button, you're going to run a script. Um, I already have a script here. Take a look at it. Here it is. Okay. So I'll go through briefly and just explain what it does to you. I'll click the object that tells you that it, you clicked, someone clicked the button. Um, Oops, we're gonna, need to, we're gonna need to delete this. We don't need this right now. Yep. So, right now, right here, we're telling it to start the progress indicator, the spinner, and of window one, and we're telling it to set my track to choose file. So that means that when they click the button, um, a dialog is going to come down from the select a file to play backwards. Then we're automatically going to turn the volume up for them, so in case they forget. And next it's going to open up QuickTime. And we're not going through iTunes. And it's going to close the main window that comes up when you open up QuickTime. And then it's going to open my track, which is um, the file we assigned up here. And then we're going to set the time scale of our movie to negative one down here and that's gonna make it so it's actually playing backwards at negative one times speed it normally would and we're gonna start at 60 just because I think normal songs are at least 60 seconds you'll see when we start it it's a little bit weird 
because once it's done playing, if you press play again, it'll play forward. So this way we set it at 60. It starts at 60 and it plays backwards. And then now that we're done, we'll stop the progress indicator spinner. And you can save all this. All right, next we're gonna open up the needed file again. Sorry, I forgot to do one thing. Click on your spinner and we're gonna name it spinner. Save that, quit, and now we can build it. I'm going to put the script or a link to the script in the video description box. So you can just click on that and copy and paste if you want. I might put a link for the download, I'm not sure yet. Um, so here it is. We just press that to choose the file. See, and here you can see the progress indicator spinning because that's where we assigned it to start spinning. So we're gonna do this song. Let's just start it. That's gonna sound really weird. I'm turning my volume down because it's already set and it's gonna be really loud. But quick time's gonna open up. Okay, as you can see it's playing backwards in quick time now. See the the rate right here? 44, 43. So if you were to skip all the way to the beginning, then start playing, it would go all the way back to the beginning. So that's why we had to um that's why we had to start at sixty seconds. So if we start at the beginning it would start playing forward. Okay. Um yeah, just look for the script in the video description box and I'll come up with a new video soon. Bye.